back to that Congress was on. This is what feeds that sort of uh, paranoia around the president and his relationship with uh, Russia. The Treasury Secretary of the United States considering lifting sanctions on a Russian aluminum company uh, owned in part um, by a Russian billionaire and a friend of Vladimir Putin. In other words, the feeling seems to be that they're getting a uh, special favor uh, at a time when the president of the United States was deemed to be a little bit too cozy to Vladimir Putin. You know the drill on that. I do want to get the read because markets tend to look at this as noise until it gets to be very noisy. Uh, but the read from Stock Swish founder, Melissa Armo. Uh, Melissa, are you worried by this drip, drip, drip of Russia, us, Russia, us? No, because I really don't think it affected the market at all this week. If anything, the market rallied this week. We fell a little bit on Friday, but we really didn't see any negative reaction at all. We were all. essentially on change and all that uh, unchanged average, right? really and, and the summer is a, sm a slow month for the market anyways but yeah. we have earnings season coming up that just just started so we're going to see more i think pop in the market and reactions based on fed meetings yeah. or things that happen you to mentioned do with the bank fed what did you make of the president's comments with cnbc about not being a fan of them hiking rates in the middle of all of this. I really didn't have a problem with it. See, Trump looks at himself like he's the guy at the top. It's a pyramid. He's the CEO. Remember, he, he was the right. CEO. So that's how he looks at it. He looks at it like it's his job to give his opinion. And Twitter is the way that he does it. Instead of micromanaging and well, calling him on the phone. Well, he did this in an interview and, and followed up. Um, and by the way, other presidents, when rates are going up in their presence, they thought that. They talked to their staff members mm -hmm. about it. Rarely do they publicly stated so it's, it's not a shocker that he feels this way and, and he comes in the real estate business right where higher rates are generally not a great thing um but they're they're happening because of a good thing so does he does he put the fed in a weird position do you worry about that no here's the problem he, we did these tax cuts. So the president administration did the tax cuts. The tax cuts were not for the likes of Apple, Amazon, Netflix, although all those corporations save money. They're for the little guys, for the small businesses, the medium businesses. When rates go up, then borrowing costs get higher. So the problem is if you're a business and you need to borrow to pay, pay to make payroll or to buy vehicles or whatever you have to do, he's worried, Trump is worried, and that's why he said in the interview, and that's why he tweets stuff about different costs of things, because oil, all of these things, the drug companies he doesn't want people to end up having the tax cuts be a wash whether it's the individuals but it's really the business it might already be though his, tra I his I trade threats alone are raising the cost of a lot of well that was the concern of the fed this week because they said listen if this goes on it could hurt the economy that is that is booming Do you right agree now with the fed if it goes on too long it is problematic but i don't think trump liked that he mentioned it he, he i don't think that trump liked but he it, already did it. damage done right he did, and so we'll see what happens. I personally, I don't really think they need to raise the, raise the rates two more times this year. I think so one more time. So they raise them only one enough. more time. Won't people turn that around and say, "Oh, they're afraid of the?" Well, that's that. He remember, he's the CEO. I got it. I saw that. Well, only one person could analysis. be in charge. You're in charge of your show. You're you're in charge here. Only one person's in charge, and that's the best way to run things. I understand, and he and I have so much in common. <laughs> I'm running this show. He's running the country, free world. <laughs> that's right. All right. Thank you very much, Melissa. So good seeing you on the weekend. Thanks okay. for coming in. Uh, she knows of what she speaks, Melissa Arma. I uh, want to get the read on all of that with my panelists. Also want to get the read on uh, Whoopi Goldberg and Judge Janine. What really, really happened? I'm so upset how Judge Janine was treated that if the view ever calls me up to get a bond market take, I don't think I'll do it after this.